you know, something that is very, very near and dear to so many people's hearts, especially here in Park City, green buildings, very, very important. And we're very fortunate to have with us this morning, Ron Moffis. Did I pronounce your name right? It's, it's Roy Moffis. Roy. It's okay. <laughs> so I got your last name right. It was the first name that I messed right. up on. Okay. Roy Moffis is with us this morning. And you know what? You have a company that um, is just, what a fantastic right, story. Give us a little bit of background on how you came up with the idea and, and the decision to go with this company. Well, we, um, we moved here from Louisiana after Hurricane Katrina. Okay. And uh, we sort of were looking at an aerial picture of our old neighborhood. And there were five shipping containers that washed up into the neighborhood. And all the other homes were completely destroyed. So we thought maybe the thing to do would be to form an architectural design firm that specializes in solar and wind-powered, storm-proof, mm -hmm. earthquake-proof homes. And, and what a need, especially in this day and time. We've seen, I don't know how many disasters in the past few months relative to earthquakes, mudslides, um, you know, weather that are very weather-related, but earthquakes especially. One, a huge one just recently in New Zealand. Definitely. And so will you be able to cater to people all around the world? Is actually, that your goal? Yes, that's that's our goal. We actually have formed uh, uh, a nonprofit group called the Human Relief Project. Okay. Uh, and if people want to help out, they can go to there, go there and uh, there's a little PayPal button and they can donate there. But okay. we're actually, we designed a, a water filtration unit that goes oh. down to 0.2 microns. It's solar powered. We sent it down to Haiti with a, a group oh, of nurses wow. and surgeons. Um, and then it lived there for a little while, and then it lived at, uh, it worked in a church kitchen sort of a okay. thing. And now it's supplying the uh, clean drinking water to an orphanage in Haiti. And you know, and that's one of the first things I think people don't realize. That's one of the first natural resources that we lose in any disaster, whether it's a fire, an earthquake, a mudslide, um, a hurricane. Usually. You lose clean water, the ability to have clean water. That and uh, that and you, we also generally have sewage issues as well. Yes. Um, so you have you you have a huge amount of uh, pathogens that are introduced into the environment. So it was we thought it was pretty important to filter the water and be able to deal with uh, sewage on site as well. So we integrated a bioremediating toilet into our. Um, into our disaster relief unit, which really? is actually a 20-foot shipping container that sleeps for. It has hot and cold running water, uh, a microwave convection oven, uh, induction cooktop, which uses magnetic waves to cook with, so it's much more efficient. Yes. A 12-volt refrigerator and freezer, uh, and a shower. <laughs> So are these places that people can actually purchase from you they and can. they just make the arrangements to store it until needed? It, we is that can, what is done? Well, we can, we can do it that way or we can actually set it up to uh, work with other uh, NGOs so that you can sponsor a family. Okay. Um, or you might even just want one if you have some vacation property, uh, some bare land here uh, around the country. Uh, you can just drop one off because it's completely sustained unit. I was just saying it's all self-contained. It's all self-contained. It's all self-sustained, so it's a very great way to go. So how do people find out more information about this, and especially Park City? Was it because it's such a, uh, there's lots of land and it, people come and do the second and third homes here? Is well, um, the, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people who are really into outdoor sports here and okay. like uh, hunting and mm -hmm. uh, fishing and they might have this little secret hole <laughs> okay. that they go to uh, for, for their hunting and fishing and just to get away. Um, and it was, you know, we, I didn't realize it at first because uh -huh. I, I'm not a hunter and fisher myself. Oh, okay. All uh, right. I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm new to well, Utah. Well, you're in Park City in Utah. <laughs> You'll definitely get that down, I I'm promise. I'm definitely learning. But it, it, at first it was, uh, it was really all about uh, disaster relief. And then we realized that there's many other places uh, where it can be used. And okay. we're actually developing clinics that we can use that way as well. So we can immediately drop... Uh, a solar-powered uh, clinic. 
Oh, wow. Okay, which will be fantastic. So there will be immediate medical assistance with really, these types of clinics in disaster areas. So definitely. that's fantastic. Tell us your website, how people can find you. Uh, you can reach us at www.humanreliefproject.org. Okay. Org, okay. Or uh, if you're needing a custom home built, um, you can reach us at www.humanreliefproject.org. GorillaDesign.org. And is it G O R I L L A? Gorilla like the animal. Gorilla like the animal design.org. Thanks so much for being here, Roy. Thank you so much. Appreciate I really appreciate you coming it. in. Sounds very interesting. <laughs> and we gave you both those websites, so if you need more information, just go there. It sounds like a very fascinating concept, something that's definitely necessary, we have found out in the past few years. 